<laughs> Hi and welcome back. It's been a while. Yes. If you've not met us before, my name's Stephen. And I'm Tilda. And we run the Audio Mill, or you run the Audio Mill. Well, um, you're helping. And I help the Audio Mill. And uh, this is our YouTube about our day to day. Can and I, yeah. Day to day knitting. Yep, and I'm learning to knit. Tilda's teaching me how to knit. Yep. And I'm a beginner knitter. And one of the things was the last, if you've not seen our previous videos, please go back and look at them. Uh, this is Slowcraft number five. Yeah. And the previous ones, we decided that we would talk about me being a completely new knitter, how to start from scratch. And we went through uh, knitting a simple beanie with knit stitch in big wool. Yeah. This is lovely Rowan Big Wool. Uh, very forgiving, very soft. Yeah, that's why I'd pick it as a beginner. And yeah. then I started, I wanted to try and knit two colours. So we went into adding a colour. Yeah, so basically you're meant to kind of have it up as a wee fold up rim. So I was doing quite well. This was quite a few months ago. Yeah. And I was kind of enjoying it, although it's slow, hence slow craft. And then I thought, do you know what I want to do? And I never, and interesting, I never finished this. So I had a work in progress or a whip, a whip. What's your whip? That I never finished. And I wanted to go straight into knitting something finer. So we started this. And I started this. This is a very nice wool. It's a uh, ribbon again, Pebble Island. Mm. Pebble Island's in the Falklands. Oh my goodness. Oh, out, of, out of focus. Anyway, Pebble Islands yeah. from the Falklands. Uh, it's a single floke uh, uh, farm. Okay. That it's on Pebble Island and it's just a big farm, I think. Okay. Where, and, uh, so kind of sustainable, all that yeah. kind of jazz. Good. But, so try to learn something and then you walk away from it and you can't be bothered mm. because life... And then you come back to it. And I went into my my nice bag that Tilda gave me. And it's just a mess. It's, it was full of yeah. everything. And it was it was hard. Every time I looked at it, I thought, I can't really be bothered because it's too much effort. But actually, it's not the effort. And I think getting over that is quite interesting. And coming back to learn something and pick it up. Now, the problem is, because it had been in my stash bag, let's switch to overhead cam. How do we do that? Yeah, you just, yeah. Wow, technology is amazing. So on overhead cam, you probably can't see this at all, that basically uh, I dropped stitches. Yeah, there's some dropped stitches. I wonder if we can go in on this. Cool. Yeah. yeah, so there's some dropped stitches sitting here. It's obviously quite dark here. And yep. uh, often people panic when that happens, but it's nothing they can't. So you pu you've literally pulled that out? No, you haven't. Yeah, just yeah. You I pulled, pulled that, one out. I just pulled this out, and then I pulled them, put them back on the, and then there you go, ready to start again. And you're on knit stitches now. So we've talked about this a couple of times, and there's lots of videos in this week, and it it's just you know it's interesting for me to try and learn to knit. It's a slow process. Is that a drop stitch? That's just a loose stitch. So I'm holding that one. Oops, yep. goodness, sorry, I'm not in camera. So these are four and a half mil needles. Yeah. A fairly fine wool. What what would you call? Is this DK? No. No, this is. Uh, um, I would say it's more of a kind of worsted iron weight yarn. A so, worsted iron weight. Okay. Yeah, it's slightly finer than an iron weight. I would. Um, so it's kind of somewhere in between DK and Junky. Yeah, it's really nice. It's uh, it's summer right now in Scotland, and it is we're quite lucky to be quite warm right now. Yeah. It's not always warm in Scotland at all by any means, but when it is, it's amazing. And we're in a slightly cooler shop, hence we've got the cardies on, but it is very uh, warm outside. So if I, I reckon I can finish this by winter, I will be doing well. Both my chunky and my yeah, you'll be finished Pebble before. Island. And who knows, on to even more amazing projects. I think, but, you know, I th but we agree that it's kind of common for people to start something, start knitting mm, yeah. and drop it and then get a bit lost and then 
not want it feels like an effort to come back to it yeah that so that's why when i do classes i tend to do them in kind of groups of four because then you don't get like super lost to begin with like you done so like i did yes you did sorry danish kind of yeah not proper grammar I'm sorry uh, so there we go I'm, so the plan is we finish this hat we can then show you links yep. to the pattern and how-to videos to make it to do really quickly. We won't yep. do it here because we've done it, covered it in lots of different videos, and I'll flash one of those videos up. Stephen Spini. Uh, two colours. What do you call? So what happened? What do you call this? It's a knit and pearl. So this is a rib. A rib. A rib. Uh, so the knit and pearl is basically the pattern is. Is this is a two by two ribs, which means like two knit stitches and two pearl stitches next. So. Uh, You'll find that that uh, on your kind of cuffs. Okay. Often you'll find that. Okay. Uh, and that gives it that stretch. It's really good. It's very nice. It's very forgiving. And it's interesting for me being such mm. a novice knitter, this wool, natural fibre tends to be for forgiving, doesn't it? Yeah, well, wool certainly does. Wool in general. Um, okay. Cotton, not so much. Oh, interesting. Knitting uh, in cotton would be interesting. But it feels great. I think it's going to be a nice hat. Yeah. And... So. Two by two rib. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, I think one thing that's very common with knitters that I've noticed, and I can now see why, because I got impatient and I had this. Oops. I had this project, which I really like. I do actually quite like this hat. I think it's going to be oh. quite cool. It's interesting. It's cool colours. I don't. I'm not sure you could buy that in the shop. I mean, you might, but I like that it looks homemade. It's funny when you start knitting. You tend to notice knitters who are wearing their own creations. Not that they're yeah. bad, but just that you then mm. know. Yeah. Or you start to see or you think that you see, well, that looks, could be handmade. And it's interesting to go, well, it's pretty mm. good. I mean, it's hard to tell because it could be really good. Yeah. Or it might deliberately just be very colourful and very bright and not commercial. Yeah, it's, it's often that you can see that. Also, I can see my customers when they come in because obviously I, I can recognise the yarn. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's very some of the yarns are really kind of distinct and yeah. So you so the point of that was I had a project on these ten mil needles. Oops, I'm not showing it very well. These kind of chunky as big wool, really nice wool. And then I wanted to start a uh, something else because I was impatient, but that's quite common as well to have lots of works in progress, lots of whips. Yeah. Yes, or PhDs as they're called. What are PhDs? Project half done. Project half done. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, we've got about oh three on the table, yeah. Well, let's see some of your whips. PhDs, I mean. Okay, so... This We're going to go here. to overhead cam. No, just do this one. This is an anchor sweater. Wait, wait a minute, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, let's go to overhead cam. Okay. And let's bring this up. Oh. Oops. Wait. There we go. Oh, right, you've got off. four needles at some kind of mad... Ninja samurai sticks going on here. What's happening with this? Yeah, this is double pointed needles, and I'm using them because the circumference here is quite small. The cir circumfe circumference. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Circumference. Again. I was. Well, I don't know if I thought. I thought that was a knitting term. The circumference. No, that's right. just me not being able to pronounce a certain circumference. Word. Okay. Yeah. And you've. But you're using these four needle technique to make a tube. Yeah. So I would have. So I like to have. You actually get a, a set of five. Some people like to have four sitting around, but I like three because it just feels not, more so stable. Right. And you're using four to make so, a tube because you want to be able to take it out. Yeah. So you want to take the needle out, whereas this is a tube. Mm, no, but I'm not trying to take the needle out. I'm actually just trying to knit. So no, but, but that's a tube as well. Yeah, that's, that's a tube. That's in the round, so what's the difference? It's just because that you can't get... So see, to, to do this circumference, you know, I needed like a tiny, tiny circular needle like the one you got there. All right. Um, and they just don't exist. So you can... I like my double-pointed needles. Other people do what do it with what they call the magic loop method. Wow, I need to talk about that in another video then. Yeah, so, but I like the, the double point needles, they're quicker for me to do. So here, basically, if you look here, I will then, I got them all on the three needles and then I will just knit with one needle and 
knit then I can't oh that's mind. nice right okay I so see and then I will just this is a knit going. standard knit stitch your yep. bog standard knit stitch but you're doing it in a yep. fine wool what kind of wool is this so this is a filter tweed we're a bit of a round shop here yeah we are I, we do like we do love round. our round for goodness sake yeah I mean it is nice wool so it is it's really it is really nice and round filter so. tweed's quite yeah popular it is very popular. Yeah. This is a is this a Rowan pattern? No, this is actually a petite knit pattern. Can a I Danish. see it? Do you have it? I don't have the pattern, but I have another one that's finished. This is petite knit. She's a YouTuber. She's an Instagrammer as well, isn't she? No, well, she's a Danish designer that has her own we. Uh, but she's got an Instagram thing. channel. Does yeah. Oh yes, you will have. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so she. This is the. Uh, do you want to switch to the full camera or what, how do you want to well, do that? Let's see this, because this is this sleeve. So you were doing the four needles to get this. Yeah. And then you've gone to this, what did you call it? That's the rib. So this, the is, a, this is a one by one rib. This is so a one by one rib. So you can see there's one stitch. Can we go in? Can we zoom in? I'm going to try and see that. Yeah. And then I'm going to focus. Yeah. So uh, here you go. You've got your one by one rib. Yeah, now... Wow, look at that, there we go. So, uh, also what I did with this one, I changed the pattern slightly because the pattern says to keep using the four millimeter needles to right. do the rib with. Yeah. But because this yarn isn't as stretchy as some of the other yarns I've used when I knitted this one, then um, I switched down to a 3.25 needle. But what's also interesting is you've got this, this thicker and then comes into this tighter cuff. Yeah. How did you do that? So I, I decrease. So on every, you can almost see here every every so often. You can oh, you're decreasing. See, I'm decreasing. So. And the pattern tells yeah, you that. Yeah. The pattern's quite clear about that. Yeah, yeah. The pattern. So petite knit patterns are really good. Because. Just because they're very clear, they've been tested well. There's a lot of people knitting them. You know, so it is really. Uh, Cool. It's okay, really so it's, it's a nice jumper. It's a lovely jumper. Who's is this for? Somebody? Yeah, that's yeah. for Pelle. Pelle. Yeah, <laughs> my wee nephew. How did you spell that? P A L L E. Pelle. <laughs> yeah. How do you say your name? Tilda. In Danish, proper Danish, Tilly. <laughs> yes, and you can't even. Yeah. So how long have you been married for, or how long have you been together for? I don't know. Over Twenty, 20 years. years. Yes, and you can still can't pronounce my name. Tilly. <laughs> Yeah. I was told the Danish is like a bag of vowels. And it is. And if you go into Denmark and you say Hi hi people just speak English to you. They don't they don't Yeah. They don't really like if you go into if you're in France, I think, or Spain mm -hmm. and you go Bonjour. Je m'appelle Stephen. Où est le piscine? <laughs> Yeah. French, the French think you're French. They go, wow, you're French. You speak French. Mm. You're like, yeah, I speak mm. French. But, see, when when, but also when I come to Denmark now, do you notice that I speak speak English? Yeah. Because I get a better service in Denmark when I speak English. Oh, wait a minute. And that's a, con that's a controversial statement. And let's not go into that. Okay. Because that, cause that, people might take umbrage to that and say, no, that's slightly, I don't know, mm. negative on the Danish. That they, yeah. they would treat foreigners better, give them a better service mm. than their own kin. Mm. Oh dear. Right, show me your other work in progress. Yeah, so another one is um, this. I'm also crocheting. Uh, so you're knitting and crocheting projects yeah. at the same time? Yeah, because actually, because I'm a continental oh. knitter. Okay, wow. Um, this is interesting. Can... What is this? A blanket? No. What is it? That is a cardigan. Right. That's, that's quite colourful. Yeah. So right. to me, this is this is like a classic crochet. I think it's multiple colours. Yeah, but it it's got a be... very distinctive pattern. It's a very mm. distinctive kind of thing. Me, Bobbery. What do you call it? That is the granny stitch. The granny stitch. Yeah. Why is it called a granny stitch? Because you often use it for making granny squares. Why are they called granny squares? Yeah. Don't know. I don't know. Because it was the granny who was making it. I don't know. But the, they're called So there's a pattern for this one? Yeah. Okay. That's in this book here. Let's see. On the... Oh, West Yorkshire Spinners. Surprise, surprise. The two brands. 
Rowan and Wish, which are spinners. Yeah. Sundance, I like it. <laughs> yes. Sundance, I'm yes. dancing in the sun. So this is actually an easy pattern. Okay, so let's, uh, have a, let's have a quick look at the pattern, just because it's interesting to see patterns. Yeah, so... And they're all kind of, this is all crochet. This is all crochet, yeah. Um, so this pattern actually comes two uh, versions. So you got your cardigan, yeah, the short cardigan, and then you got like a long cardigan with a hood. And so if you kind of look here, this is um, the beginning of the, the pattern where you get some... Um, what I actually want to show you is this skill level three. Which okay, is your what does that mean? It means intermediate. Okay, good. And it says that for... A, we probably agree with it for the long cardigan. However, for the short cardigan, it's definitely not the case. It should be a two. Why do you think it's a two? Because there's no... It, it's just really straight up. Um, there's no shaping to it. And then how do you knit it to get, sew it together? Do you sew it together or you crochet it together? Yeah, well, uh, uh, you can do either, really. But uh, I'm going... I think I'm going to, to uh, show it. I think it'd be, good, sew it together. it'd be good to do a video on that, yeah. to show that. So let's talk about this. But yeah, so there's another one. So this one here, you'll you'll find that uh, it comes, it's written, so it's done in kind of rows. But you also have what's really good, and this is where some people get a little bit uh, confused, is here you got your granny stitch rows. Oh, right, I and, and people go like here, and I remember do you remember when I made the stag's head? Yeah. And I was, uh, the pattern, the first I saw was these funny symbols and I was like, yeah, that looks very pretty. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can do that. But uh, it was like, hmm. F turned out that there was a, it was written up but row by row as well. I'm not so, sure what you're saying. I don't, I don't know what you but mean. But this this here, look look here, this is your rose. I'll try and see. So this is your rose, but in a kind of chart form. Oh, I don't really understand that. No. So we'll have uh, to talk about that another yeah. time on Granny Stitch and Rose. That's interesting. Yeah. So, um, so how many rows is this? So this is your... you can, three yeah, rows. You have, you have foundation row one, foundation row two, one, two, and three. There's there's six rows. Or it's five, eight. There's five rows, yeah. There's five rows. One foundation row, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. So, uh, okay, and what that's quickly, it looks quite expensive because you've got multiple wool here. Yeah. So, how many balls of wool do you need? Uh, I can uh, I need, apparently, I need nine of the the black here. Okay. And then three each of the other colours. So wow, it is quite that's a lot. lot. Yeah. And what lot. is it? What kind of wool is it? It's the, um, it's the elements. This one here. Oh, and it's quite thin as well. It's quite. Uh, so this is a double net. You can see light. it says DK. This is DK, and yeah. roughly ballpark. What kind of price are we talking for the whole thing, the whole cardigan? Um, it's four four pound fifty for a ball. So times what? So it's, and you're not getting much change out of sixty quid or something, really? No, it's more, over a hundred pounds. Over a hundred pounds. Really. It is over a hundred pounds. That's interesting. Well. But it's a, it is a very nice piece. It is. And then this is not, this is just, this is also tensile. Yeah. And what's tensile? It's like a wood pulp fibre. The whole thing is wood pulp? No, no, no. It's mixed with Falkland Island wool. So it's more of a... Um... Sorry. So yeah, it's, it's, it's biodegradable as well. Wow. So it's kind of environmentally friendly, sustainable. There it is there. 60% Lyocell, 40% Falklands. Yeah. Oh. So, um... Nice. So it's, um... It's an interesting rule, and it's got this kind of sheen to it as well. I don't know if you can see yeah, it. Yeah, well, you can see it. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Yeah, you I think you can see on the ball there, but um, I actually had a lady, she loves it so much, she was knitting cushion covers in it, and she... Uh, she came in with a wallpaper and had to match yeah, I mean, the wallpaper. Yeah, oh, amazing. Well, that's, that's very interesting. I mean, I can see it being cushion covered, but I can see if that's a cardigan. It was also a kind of shackety cardigan, like a kind of jacket, kind of quite a nice, it would last mm, quite a it, long time, I think. It does last, even though it's biodegradable, it still lasts, you know, it's just that it doesn't take well, five. Biodegradable, biodegradable over a, a, num, you know, yeah. a long, 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 long time, like years yeah, and years yeah, and years, yeah. not, not in the lifetime of a cardigan. Uh, yeah. 
Interesting. So how many whips have you got in progress? So that was my second one that uh, I'm working on. That's a crochet. Yeah. And um, and then I have this one here I've been on for a wee while. Let's go to the main camera. So here we go. No, I'm on the main camera. Oh, sorry. This one What here. is that? That is a jumper. For an adult? Yeah. My goodness. And so, this is very fl fluffy and... Little yeah. Mermaid, what's going on here? Yeah, that's the kit silk case. And you've got a nice and interesting stitch marker. Whoa, this, this is all, all the kit here, my goodness. Right, so what is this wool, this yarn? So this is the kit silk case. From Rowan again? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Oh, God, bloody <laughs> it's, hell. Um, it's a really popular yarn. Sorry, I swore on camera I shouldn't have done that. Can I, It's not in focus. So I was just really up for doing some cables. Yeah, it's very, it's nice, isn't it? It's, it's, it's really nice. It's a lovely, soft, uh, kind of springy wool with a real kind of, Yeah. what did they call this, a haze? No, they couldn't call it a haze, they call it no, a... It, no, it is. It, they, well, it's, it's called haze, haze. But, but sometimes a halo. Yeah. So I got this kind of really you lovely... You really can't see that, but it's got this kind of... Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice, it is a really nice yarn and it comes in so many absolutely, colours. absolutely gorgeous colours. Um, they have, I don't know how many, it's... Do you have the pattern here? I have it uh, lying over here actually. Oh, that's okay. Just tell me, this is, you're going from a rib? Yeah. Then a couple of the right oh. lines of... That's just, so that's, that's like garter stitch. Garter stitch. And then stitch. I go into my... Um, then you go into the cable. Yeah. But there's a kind of a thicker line here. Yeah. So which this. is garter, is it? No, that's a reverse stocking stitch. So if you look at the back of it, you can actually see, if you can see that it looks a bit more flat here. Uh -huh. So that's what you would normally, so likes of on my sleeve here. No, you can't see it because it's black. Um, but why do you have these kind of cool counting rings? So I change the pattern a little bit. I do that sometimes. Okay. Um, so I wanted to knit this in the round just because so I was avoiding sewing up the side seam. Um, so then I, I was marking where my sides were. And also I'm just sticking my uh, row counter on here. This is a wee ring, so I pop on my, my thumb when I work. That's very so. cool. And we have got these in the shop, yeah? Yeah. Amazing, who does them? That's a Knit Pro one. Knit Pro. So, pretty good. Welcome back. Thank you for, yeah. I hope you've missed us. Mm. I've missed it. Yeah. Oh, you've got one more? Well, this is not a whip. This, this is, is finished. actually a finished. Let's I have, see a finished thing. I have actually made some finished things as okay. well. Well, you've done the crumble cardigan video before. Well, I have showed, I have showed it, but it's never been finished. I got the buttons on. So there's a crumble cardigan, cardigan, and you've done, you've done a video on how to do these wee thingies, haven't you? No. No, you didn't. No, I'm going to. You're going to do a video, and that's good. Yeah. That's good so stuff. I will be making that one. So that was one of my finished. That other one, and also did this one. Remember? We Why did you do that hat? Why did I do that hat? Oh, that's just, okay, that's right. Sorry, everybody. So this is our fantastic Learn to Knit with Tilda. Yeah. And we've got a, Tilda did a whole batch of fresh videos yeah. on how to knit a uh, slightly different, this is the, the, the cable one. Yeah, this is the beginner. This is like the complete beginner Complete beginner one, beginner one yeah. And yeah. that's a really yeah. good one to do to learn to knit because yeah. you've got your main knit stitch yeah. and you can practice yeah. knitting on that lovely big so, wool. Yeah, and I just added one of these lovely... Pom poms, amazing. Yeah, I think I think that's good for a for a return video. Yeah, lots of lots. So we've been doing lots, but at the same time, life is busy. Mm -hmm. Let's it's get busy. back to knitting. Let's let's double down on our double knitting. Mm, yes, you didn't know, even know that you were talking about a certain knitting style. No. No. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.